So good afternoon, everyone. So I'll start to, uh, my presentation with, uh, by providing just a big, brief information about um, uh, PTSMI and what we do before we go into the, the detail. So SMI is actually the non-bank financial institution uh, wholly owned by uh, Ministry of Finance. Our uh, product actually span from uh, loan and also equity investment. Uh, with the, with the, in terms of the segment, we provide loan to private as well as uh, public uh, financing. Um, sorry. So, uh, SMI has a strategy to, in, in terms of the uh, uh, climate change and also SDG. And uh, in terms of the strategy that we adopt uh, for internal uh, organization, we establish uh, the, 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 the division of sustainable finance uh, division, which focus only to finance the uh, green energy uh, related project. Uh, we also has imposed an environmental and social safeguard for every um, financing, every project preparation, and also um, investment uh, that we do in, in our internal. Uh, in terms of the uh, uh, financing or funding, um, we uh, mobilize funding from the external uh, as well as from internal funding from the government. Uh, for example, that we uh, collaborate with the AFD, uh, providing the uh, facility for renewable energy project and the risking instrument. We also uh, issue a green bond uh, domestic locally in 2018. SMI is the, is the first uh, corporate green bond in Indonesia. Um, and in terms of product, we establish the product called the Geothermal Fund Management. Um, this is to actually to, to finance the exploration stage of the uh, geothermal project. We also manage the fund uh, coming from the uh, government for the geothermal exploration and uh, also manage the fund coming uh, source from the World Bank, um, which will be used by the private or SOE to finance the exploration uh, project. Uh, within SMI as well, we established the uh, SDG Indonesia One as a platform actually assigned by the government for uh, SMI to e become the implementing agency for the SDG Indonesia One in Indonesia, whereby all the uh, uh, parties which has that interest on the SDG uh, gather into this platform from multilateral, from development bank, philanthropy or donors, and even commercial banks as a blended finance platform. So SDG Indonesia One um, is actually the platform uh, established to mobilize funding from uh, external, from international, also from domestic. As uh, data from the government mentioned that uh, Indonesia needs about 18,000 uh, trillion rupiah to achieve the SDG uh, target by 2030. So it's a huge fund needed. So that's why uh, uh, the government actually uh, uh, set up this platform under the uh, PTSMI. Um, and the blended finance is become one of the solution to be able, uh, Indone to Indonesia be able to achieve the target of the SDG. So part uh, the concept of the platform is really to provide financing for development uh, facilities, especially for SDG project, uh, providing the risking facility uh, for SDG project, financing and also equity uh, fund. Uh, let me get back to the previous page. So other than private finance, we are mandated by the government to provide financing to public, to the municipal. So during the pandemic, uh, 2020, uh, 2020 and 2021, we uh, are assigned by the government uh, as one of the countercyclical tools um, to provide under the program of National Economic Recovery Program to provide uh, or extend loan to municipal. Um, so there are about 92 municipals which enjoying this facility uh, for, for the economic recovery. 
as well as that we become the trust, uh, a trustee for the government fund um, for the SOE which suffered or impacted by the COVID. This is a showcase of how blended finance work um, to build the uh, hospital in the um, North Sulawesi province, which is far away from uh, Jakarta, the capital city, about four hour uh, flight from Jakarta. Um, the blended finance coming from the World Bank and IIIB under the Regional, regional uh, Infrastructure Development Fund uh, which is actually channeled to, uh, through SMI to finance this um, uh, construction of the uh, hospital. Other source of fund coming from uh, government budget as well as the local government budget. And uh, during, the, during the pandemic, because uh, there is uh, additional needs for the equipment of the healthcare equipment, so this uh, um, Local government is also enjoying the economic, national economic uh, recovery uh, fund to be able to complete this hospital. This hospital has been uh, completed and up and running. Um, in terms of the funding to uh, finance this uh, SDG project, SMI not only rely on the uh, funding from the government which we enjoyed probably around five years ago uh, after the after the 27 we actually um, sell funding uh, uh, getting the funding from uh, uh, from ourselves so uh, the the bonds is actually one of the source of fund uh, of PTSMI at the moment so in 2018 we issue sustainable green bond um, about 500 billion uh, rupiah and has been utilized to finance the green project, which is renew renewable energy, the mini hydro project, and clean transportation or LRT in Jakarta. So, uh, to support the, the business growth, which is keep growing, um, we are the regular issuance of the bonds for the local bonds as well as the global bonds. The global bonds, we, our first debut is actually in 2021 when we issue about 300 million uh, global bonds to uh, fund our uh, business active activity. Uh, we're also looking at the uh, about, uh, about thematic uh, issuance of uh, bonds issuance, uh, sustainability link loan or another green bonds uh, or sukuk bonds uh, that we are uh, currently looking at probably around uh, next year or the following year. So in terms of capital market, uh, mobilizing capital market, this is one of the example um, how it actually the, the SIOs, SDG Indonesia on platform works under the blended finance because we get the assistance from ADB to establish this facility, which is actually the credit enhancement facility. Credit enhancement facility um, is provided to the, the issuers, which is a developer of the hydro uh, power, which already own about more than 100 megawatt um, uh, high, mini hydro and hydro. Um, and with this facility, they are able to upgrade uh, the rating, six notch upgrade. Um, so can they, they can enjoy the cost reduction from the, uh, from the upgrade of the rating. I think that's all uh, my presentation. Thank you. Back to the moderator.